Welcome to my apiary. Well, I'm going to brave the cold. So let's go outside. It's very, very, very bright out here. I can hardly see. <clears throat> and I can't see the camera screen. I think it's about minus 10 or so. And that uh, north wind. Here to the bee barn and have a look at what's going on in here. Okay, you can see better than I can. My eyes have not acclimated to the the dark yet. There you go. <laughs> Camera compensates for the red. Okay. So that's what the the bee stash looks like this year. I've push, pushed them up in here together. They've got, I don't know, six inches of space or so between, and I hope that's okay. Uh, something a little bit different. And I just hope it doesn't bite me in the butt <clears throat> because I just really, really wanted to use some space in this building. You think we should look in some covers? Look under some covers? I think we should. Let's see if I can reach that one. See, the camera can see it better than I can. Oh, there's bees there. One just flew down my shirt. I think I just got my first bee sting of 2023. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of hurts. Okay, suffice it to say there's bees in there. This one. Well, can't see bees there. Oh yeah, there's a few. Much smaller cluster though. They're tiny, tiny little cluster here. A bee sting, you know, you, it always hurts. <laughs> so that's, those are the two of the three doubles that I put away here. Uh, this one over here is the third one. And the... Well, there's not much going on there. Let's get the light. Let's see what's going on. It's a little tiny cluster right here. They're not gonna make it. There's lots of food in there I can see. Of 
those doubles. Doubles don't generally run out of food in the building. Even my singles, I don't have a big starvation problem. There's a single right here beside it. Why don't we look at that? Bees there for sure. <clears throat> Quite active, too. Well, I'm encouraged what I've seen so far. That one looks okay. It's not huge, but you know, these are carnies, they winter in small clusters. So this, this has temp two, that says temp one. These two have my temperature sensors inside. I should download that data today. So there's, looks like a decent cluster. All the way out to here. They're over on this side of the box though. I'm not gonna tempt, I'm not gonna tempt them. Those look, those look pretty good. look at this one because these have pooped themselves really bad I think that's dead when there's dead bees there that's a bad sign because there's they're either far too weak to carry them out or they're dead you know this is not a good sign at all I'm quite sure that this is just gonna be dead there's a bee there whether it's from that colony or or not so these are the other two temperature sensor hives there's still bees there again I'm not gonna flip that up sure they appreciate me banging on the lid there There's another one there look okay well there's there's bees here so you know <laughs> that's all I can say this time of year I always get uh, I always get worried I always get worried so my six framers are up over in here I think these are six framers all the way to the bottom. I know the bottom pallet is uh, the polys. Uh, I can't see it very well in there. So you can see some polys down in here. Holy hives. I sure hope to get rid of those this year, although, you know what, I probably won't get rid of them for a long time. But I am making uh, almost enough three-way pallets and buying enough uh, six-frame boxes 
to convert that capacity over to wooden wooden wear. It'll fit in this building a lot better. It'll be a lot better in a lot of ways. Okay, that's it. That's the look in the bee barn today. I mostly stay out of here. There's, you know, unless I'm here getting equipment or whatever I've got stored in here. Uh, this is, this will be my eighth, I think my eighth, no, my seventh winter indoors. And it's, it's always difficult. You always want to come out. I always want to come out and look and see how they're doing and try and figure out if they're okay and, you know, give them something. But what can you give them? You've just got to feed them in the fall and let them, let them winter. And they come out of winter with quite a bit of feed, which seems really strange. I haven't fed these bees in nearly six months. <laughs> I haven't fed these bees in nearly six months and they still have feed in the hive. That's bizarre. That is so bizarre. That is so much against what, what we learn about bees in the summer. And I guess we can see that the difference is temperature and brooding. If they're not brooding, they're not eating. Not very much. They're just staying warm. Anyway, that's the bee barn.